Welcome to the RBC Sunday School Rewind. This is our Rehoboth Baptist Church Sunday School Recap, where we review the Sunday School lesson for the week. Today's facilitator was Deacon Robert Booker. Good afternoon, Deacon Booker. Good afternoon. So in our lesson for today, this was our final lesson in the book of Acts, as we talked about the, the church. Um, we had a great lesson on today, and it was uh, ultimately we ended up talking about forgiveness. So I want to go ahead and get started with uh, Deacon Booker and find out what is it that stood out to you as you prepared to present this lesson on today? Uh, well, as I, I stood out, what stood out was as I prepared, you know, the uh, the story itself about right after Damascus Road, what happens to Paul, but from what really stood out from that was, it's a story about two men and how they dealt with forgiveness. How Paul, saw Paul had to forgive himself after being confronted by Jesus Christ. He had to forgive himself for all the things he had done, even though uh, that persecution of uh, the first Christians, he, he didn't when he was doing it, he didn't seem like a wrong thing. It seemed like the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. So when, when, when God confronted him, he realized and he had to forgive himself. But at the same time, uh, a man, Ananias, had been given a commission by God to go to Saul. And he couldn't forgive Saul for the very same reason of all the persecutions he had done to the very first Christians. And uh, he couldn't trust Paul. He couldn't forgive him for the things he had done. And there was an element of fear in here too. Mm -hmm. But through, from Ananias, his faith in, in Jesus Christ telling him, you can go forward with this because this is what I have chosen. And Paul was able to forgive himself because being confronted by Jesus Christ and told, you have to do this. And it's not going to be easy. But he took that, he took that, Commission and completed it anyway. And um, Paul was an outstanding uh, person in the job assigned to him before he came to Christ. And afterwards, he went through monumental hurdles and pain and troubles, and he didn't back up at all. So at the end of the lesson, what I thought was the job, God picked a specific person to do Paul's job. Mm -hmm. And Paul did it, and everybody can't do that. But everybody can be an Ananias. Everyone can forgive the people around them and encourage them to go further and be more as the Christian that God made us to do, to be. That's right. That's right. There was, um, you know, it was a great lesson in that forgiveness lesson. And, you know, you had some great questions along the way as well, as far as, how, how can we, what are some of the things we can do to overcome the mistrust when, uh, you know, we personally observe some things that people have done that haven't been trustworthy and, and we need to forgive them. So talk a little bit about that as well as some of the conversation that we had in our lesson about forgiveness. Well, um, a lot of the things came up, every, well, Pretty much the whole lesson was about forgiveness. And people did have questions, but some of the questions were like, how can you forgive someone who has done something to you um, Cause and not hold on to it? Mm -hmm. Because I mean, of course, you know, as Christians and just knowing that you're supposed to forgive people makes you want to say, okay, I forgive. Unfortunately, people say I forgive and won't forget. And we have to understand uh, they don't really go together like that. And, and we look at, Sometimes we need to forgive people because we know we could, because in our hearts we want to, that's what God wants. But that person who needs forgiveness doesn't care. They aren't in a forgiving heart of mind. They don't care what they've done or how you feel about it, but you still need to forgive them. And if they don't ask for forgiveness, it's okay because you're not asking them, can you forgive them? We're going to God and God has given us that strength and patience and love to let that go. I think yeah. that's, 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 that's what, what forgive means in Greek anyway, right? let it go. And so if that person doesn't want to be forgiven, that's fine. You forgive them. If they need forgiveness, 
that God, Jesus Christ will take it. They need that in their heart. God will put it there. You need to not be that hurdle to stop them from getting there if they decide to come that way. We um, know that when we forgive people sometimes, we still can't be around those people um, because if they haven't repented in their heart, whatever they need to be forgiven for, if it's being abusive mentally or physically, that's still there and that's not good for you. Right. Um, Paul was required to go into situations where he knew that would happen. But if God doesn't require that from us, uh, we don't do it. Sometimes you're a woman and, and you don't need to be around men you've known in your past, be it married or grown up with. That's, that's not good, but you can forgive. Amen. And I think that was a, a, a good point that was brought up is that the forgiveness is all about me. You know, it's, it's about releasing my heart. It's about letting it go within my heart. It has nothing to do with the other person. We are to forgive them and, and then go to God. And if God calls us to then continue that interaction with that person, then that's what we need to do. But if God doesn't call us to do that, we need to follow what God says to do, not what our neighbor, our friend, our relative says to do in that situation. We need to go back to God. But ultimately, as you stated, and I think it was stated in the lesson, it's letting it go. Let it go. We have to release that hold. So yeah, there were there was a lot of great discussion um, uh, in in reference to um, the forgiveness and 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 just to say it again, we have to go to God. We have to ask Him. I think somebody brought up the point that we need it. Would it's a good idea to pray to ask God to let us release that forgiveness, release us from that uh, malice and that bitterness from ourselves, but also release it from that other person as well. But it's not up to us to make them behave yeah. in a different way. And they won't just necessarily behave in a different way because we forgive them. Any other comments mm -hmm. on forgiveness, uh, Deacon Booker? No, except for, um, like we pointed out, forgiveness, even though you say I forgive, you always have to go to Christ to, to, um, to ensure this, to help you, and to guide you through this forgiveness. So we won't forgive someone today and never let it go and pick it up tomorrow. That's right. Yeah, through Jesus Christ is the answer. Amen, amen. So what um, final thoughts would you have, besides those that you've already given us, um, what final thoughts would you give the Rewind audience to walk forward this week as we uh, continue to think about this lesson and continue to walk in forgiveness? Well, forgiveness, as we stated all through the lesson, how important forgiveness is, we say to release us, but go all the way back to the golden rule. We need to forgive those people just like we want God to forgive us. And we all need forgiveness. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much, Deacon Booker. Um, that was a great lesson on how uh, we need to treat forgiveness and how we need to include God in our forgiveness. It's, it's nothing that we can do alone. We have to go to God. We have to turn it over to him to allow, to help us to walk in forgiveness. So that's uh, our rerun for today. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us as we recap this week's lesson. We hope everyone has enjoyed the recap. We ask that you like it on YouTube. We ask that you share it and that you comment. You can also uh, do that on uh, Facebook or in Rehoboth's Members Only Realm. So we uh, look forward to the next opportunity to come together and review uh, what the Word of God says uh, through our Sunday School lessons. Thank you again for joining me today, uh, Deacon Booker. And thank you so much for having me. All right. Well, everyone have a great week and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.